All right, so now I want to go through the equation of the path or otherwise known as the trajectory. And what this is, is the equation that the actual object moves along. So, so far we've only been doing our horizontal displacement or motion. So how far horizontally it goes and then the vertical motion or displacement. So how far vertically it's going. But now I'm actually working out the path that the object goes on. These two equations here in terms of parametrics, I want you to think about the T as the parameters. Whereas when we're working out the trajectory or the equation of the path, we only want it in terms of X and Y. And how we do that is we want to eliminate T. Okay, so by eliminating T, we get this equation where there's only X and Y. And that gives us, as you can imagine, this equation of the path where it has no relation to time. It's just the path it's taking. So I know this looks a bit complicated, but what we're going to do is use a question to show you how we get this equation here. In question eight, we say prove the equation of the trajectory. And we've just written these two equations down here. Not that because I want you to memorize them because I told you before, it's more the process, but just because we've already shown it to you. But in an exam situation, if this came up as a question, what would happen is part A may be working that out and then part B would be proving this. First of all, to eliminate T, what we're gonna do is make this T the focus of that. So t equals to x and divide v cos theta over. So t equals to x on v cos theta. Wherever there's t, so here and here, we just substitute that in. That's all we're doing. Because this is t squared, this becomes x squared on v squared cos squared theta. Whereas here, when it's just t, that's why we're subbing in just x on v cos theta. So can you see how we've just substituted those in? And now we just need to simplify. So in this case, V and V cancel. Sine theta on cos theta, that should just give you tan theta. Whereas here we have one on cos squared theta, so that should give you sec squared theta. So that's why it becomes negative G X squared on two times V squared sec squared theta. And this just leaves X times tan theta there. And that's how we get that equation for the equation of the trajectory. Just to prove it, all you need to do is make this equal t and then eliminate t and simplify it and you have it there. A couple of students have asked that, why does that t go there? Wouldn't it make a lot more sense to just write v cos theta t? Because then it's easier to get rid of the t. Well, the only reason is when you write it like that, it's easy to confuse as that is an angle, the theta times t represents a whole angle, and that's not what it is. So for that reason, so we don't have that miscommunication, we write t over here. So all we've done here is just substituted in t and then cancelled it out, and we've gotten our general equation for equation of the trajectory. So now we wanna find a specific equation of the trajectory by using gravity equals to 10 meters per second squared. And we have our projectile angle here is 60 degrees and our velocity is 100. Remember, we're just putting this here because we've already explained that, but in exam situation, you would have worked it out previously. So using this, this here is our horizontal motion, so our horizontal displacement, right? And we have 100, substitute that in, and cos theta is cos 60 degrees, and we'll just put T over here x equals to 50t and what we want to do is make t the subject there. So what we've done here is we've just worked out that cos 60 degrees is half. So 100 divided by 2 gives us a 50. So that's how we get 50t. And now we've just moved that 50 over. So t equals to x on 50. And we can label that because it's kind of like a simultaneous equation as one. Now let's move on to our vertical motion or our vertical displacement. So in this case, let's substitute in our various points. So G is 10, but 10 on two gives us that five there. Here, our V is 100 and theta is 60 degrees. Sine 60 degrees, that gives us square root three on two. 
and that two cancels with 100 to give us 50 square root three there. So that's how we get there. And now what do we need to do? We want to eliminate the T. So that means wherever there's T, so here and here, I want to substitute in X on 50. So substituting that in, so T squared, so this becomes X squared on 50 squared, T there, X on 50. And now simplify again. So that 50 is going to cancel with that 50 there. Here we have 50 squared, so that's 2,500, and that's going to cancel with that 5 to give you 500 as a denominator there. So that's why we get negative x squared on 500 plus square root 3x as the equation of the trajectory for this specific trajectory there. All right? Okay. So just remember in the exam, you would have worked this out in the previous questions. And so we use that information here, firstly, to make t the subject in our horizontal motion equation. Okay, and we make the t the subject here because it's a much easier equation as you can see, so it's easier to sub in. And then we simplify our vertical motion equation, eliminate the t's by substitution, simplify again, and then we have our answer there. Thank you.